First of all, I want to apologize about the quality of the video. Um, I'm This is one of the first videos of mine, actually, and I thought it was recorded in full HD mode, but after it was recorded, I found out that it was in HD mode. But the texts are readable, um, so you can read, actually. Next videos will be in full HD, definitely. Apologize for this. Hello, everyone. My name is Zura. And today I want to talk about JavaScript prototype, how you can extend object using prototype. Um, first, I want to explain what object create method does. Then I'm, I'm going to show you examples how it works using underscore underscore proto uh, property. Um, then I'm going to show you how native prototype chain is constructed. Uh, then we can see how we can modify object prototype and add new methods to our native prototype um, objects like string prototype or number or date prototype. I guarantee that the video will be interesting and if you don't have idea how prototype works you will definitely understand at the end of the video. Let's start with this simple example. We have a person object which has name and surname properties. And we call object create method on this person object which creates new object. And we uh, change the name of this new object and set it to Jane. And we just console log this new uh, object. This is the object which has name Jane. But surprisingly, if we print surname. This surname do exists on this uh, on this object. So let's print both and see. We have object which has name Jane, but surname also Do. But we don't see surname here. The thing is that the surname is under proto, and this proto is a reference to the original person object. If the engine doesn't find name property for this me object, then it goes to the proto. In this case, name is found on this me object and the name is Jane. But when we're trying to print surname, the surname is not found on this me object and it goes to the proto and tries to find there. We can, using this approach, we can change person actually after we extend it and give it another property. And when we print this object name, inside Proto it has this age. So this proves that the Proto has a reference to the object because we added age after we created a new object, after we extended new object from a person. And we can print age also for this me age. You can see. You can use this method to add uh, methods to a person object and use that methods on me object later. You can add the methods after you extend a person object and you can use that methods without any problem. How native prototype chain works? Basically, every native object, which is number, string, date, boolean, and many others, such as regex, extend their prototype from object prototype. So this means that if there is some property exists on object prototype, they do exist on number of prototypes, string, date, and etc. So let me demonstrate this for you. Let me create a, a new string instance and observe its prototype. Okay, look at the string. So um, first of all, when you create a native object uh, of string, it is um, saved like this. So it's basically, uh, you can access each character of the string by index. But you can, of course, uh, when you call is 
to string method, you can actually print the uh, primitive primitive type primitive value. So let's ob observe the prototype of the string. So it has its own length property. It has its own um, indexes for each character, but it has this uh, proto, and this proto uh, is a reference to the actual string prototype. So when the engine created S object, it extended prototype from string prototype, and this S object has all available methods what string native has, such as enter, charret, bool, blink, and many others. And if we look at the proto of the S's proto, it has, the string native has, it's actually proto dot proto. This proto references to the object prototype. So this constructor has own property and the properties what you see here are the properties of object prototype. So we can actually modify right now, after we create it as, we can, we can actually modify string prototype, adding new methods there or changing existing methods, which is bad behavior, by the way. We can modify string prototype so that after we created a string, we can actually add new methods to this S string by string prototype. String prototype, such as trim, for example, is a function which does the stuff. It, it can trim the string. Uh, I'm just going to focus on the um, implementation of this method right now. Just I'm going to write console log trimming. So let's run the code and observe the string prototype again. So it has all these methods here again, as it had before, and it has that trim, which is a function. And it doesn't have any arguments. It's uh, so thus the length is zero. And this is actually a function which has prototype from function. So function is also object in JavaScript, function dot prototype, and it has its own prototype. It has its, its own methods in the prototype, such as call, uh, bind, or apply. So this is trim method is a function and it has its own proto there, which extended from the function. So using this approach, we can again change function prototype and add new method there, test. Uh, let me copy and paste to my code. And we can see that trim method inside proto has this new test method. This is an excellent way of adding new methods, which, for example, you didn't want it before, and during on the fly you want to add new methods to the function or string or any um, other native object prototype so that other instances of this object uh, take this method and use it. That's an excellent way of doing this. So if, um, as I mentioned before, every object extends, every, every native string number function, every of them extends from the object prototype. So we can actually modify object prototype test2. And I'm going to write this um, console log statement here. Oops. test2 and 
we can see that uh, the s variable actually so we can look at this prototype of string string has prototype of object and it has this test to uh, string has this trim what we added trim has prototype of function function has test but the function has prototype of object and the object has test two again so we can call s test two method which extends uh, and this method will be called from the object or we can even call test uh, sorry s trim method test two and we can see that test two um, is printed again test two is printed then the S is printed then undefined undefined and th this is because um, we don't return anything so we can just basically call this S um, test 2 and S trim test 2 we don't need them inside console log statement because it, they don't return anything so so test 2 test 2 string which is an object and to string. I hope uh, this explains how prototype works. Um, later I can demonstrate also how, uh, what's the correct way of uh, object-oriented JavaScript, um, how you can create a object, a constructor object um, in the JavaScript, uh, and they should definitely have properties from a prototype because when you have some methods or properties in the prototype, they are um, reusable. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope um, it's now clear how prototype works. If you like the video, click on the like button. If you want to see uh, more videos from me, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next time.